These are Southwest Technical Products Corporation amplifiers, a company that made amps back in the 70s through the 80s, I'd say. True, yes. This set is all owned by my friend Kurt. Hello. And he brought them over to check them out on my bench. Here we have the Tigersaurus, 250 watt mono amp. Here we have a dual stereo, um, what was it, 40 watts per channel? No, 30 watts per channel? 25. 25 per channel? Yeah. And then we have the Point of One Tigers, the low distortion amplifiers that were 60 watts. They're all single channel amps. And we have one special, very unique little treasure here. It was an, a NASA instrumentation amp that they used in their lab apparently. It's got a real heavy cover you could stand on. And uh yeah, flip it around for me. And it's black adenized instead of brown adenized. And there's the NASA sticker at the bottom. I can get that focus. It says NASA in the front too. It's kinda kinda cool. It's pretty much stock inside. Yeah, it does have a three prong cord. Most of them didn't. Here we have an unbuilt expander compander kit that he may build someday. Here's the preamp, which was probably a weak point, not acoustically, but um, physically. He put a little 11 there, so it goes to 11. That's just a recent joke that's not really there. But it was a decent preamp, low distortion. Made it a little too lightweight though. Sometimes you could bounce it around when you're hitting the buttons. That was the biggest complaint. This is the equalizer for Southwest Technical Products. It had active sections, and each section was active, which gives you less phase shift. Another hi fi rarity here. And another one of the same, this one without the custom case someone made. He picked up a lot of these on eBay. And we're kind of reconditioning stuff now. I also have four of the .01 Tigers and one of the preamps. Not shown in this clip. This is my friend Kurt who owns the nice selection of Southwest Technical Products amps. Kurt, what possessed you to buy all these amps? Well, this uh, guy by the name of Anton told me how great these Southwest Technical amps were. So I bought this one mid-70s. Um, this is a 215A 25-watt stereo power amp. Uh, same time I bought this 198A stereo preamp. And the rest of what you see here is all later purchases from eBay. Um, We've got a Tiger Source, which was a 250 watt amp uh, into 8 ohms, 4 ohms, it did over 300. Um, and we've got two stereo equalizers that sound absolutely fantastic. And uh, the most unique item is this NASA spec, mil spec <laughs> .01 Tiger. So that's the nickname for all these amps, they're all Tigers. Uh, and uh, just very high fidelity amps rated at 0.01 percent distortion Intermod. from the factory and uh, very wide range and uh, also sensitive to the point that they were known by many as the frying tigers so they have to be set up correctly and used with care. Yes, the wide bandwidth to the point where they'll pick up RF and uh, try to amplify it and burn up. <laughs> So these are my tigers. Thanks for watching.